So welcome everybody to our little Friday session here, uh, learning about cinch share. So we're gonna learn how to share social media in a cinch. Um, we, I am Tracy Cox. I um, have been a cause entrepreneur with One Hope Wine for a number of years. And um, through the years we've learned so much amazing stuff. And so, you know, we're all like inundated with like, how do we post on Facebook? How do we post on Instagram? How do I find this? How do I find that? So Erin um, is another fellow CE um, on our wine team. So not on my team. She's just a fellow CE. Um, she's been posting and I've seen her posts regarding cinch share. Erin um, joined One Hope in April of this year, of April of 2020. She's a mom of three kids, right? All under the ages of three. Plus, she is an Air Force veteran, and she is um, an owner, and she has a, a PhD. Is it a PhD? She has a PhD, and she does Evolve Coaching and Consulting. So Erin has got a lot on her plate, but she, she found wine because she needed a little break from her everything that was going on in her life and something to bring her joy. So she's found stumbled upon One Hope, um, probably like most of us did, and here we are today. Um, but she's always learning how to organize herself, her kids, her husband, her business, her job, and she's passionate about coaching others to do the same. So that is why Erin is here with us today to help us all learn and explore a little bit about Cinch Share. So without further ado, Erin, uh, let's turn it. Oh, and just let you know too, you're welcome to ask questions. Maybe she's going to cover this too. You're welcome to ask questions why she's going through. If you want to just raise your hand in the little box so she can see it, or Erin, if you want me to let you know just however we want to do that, uh, you can unmute yourself too. Um, that way it's kind of a learn as you go kind of process too. So take it away, Erin. Thank you so much. And thanks for having me, Tracy. I appreciate it. Tracy actually reached out to me because she's always looking to provide additional services and training and, and help for all of us. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much for we're putting together the image sharing group and being the admin. It can't be easy and you do it just out of the goodness of your heart. So I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. I love it. I love meeting everybody too. Yeah, that's nice. It really does bring us together. Yeah. So, and all right, so as Tracy said, I plan on this being kind of an interactive workshop because I want everybody to understand kind of what SinShare has to offer. So ask the questions. If you don't wanna go on mute, I understand. You can put them in the chat box. And Tracy, if you can just kind of help me um, in case there are questions that come up in the chat, I would prefer to be interrupted and talk about it in the moment. Perfect because this, we can shape this to be what we need it to be rather than me following a specific agenda. Now, if you're all crickets, then I'm just gonna get on my soapbox and I'm gonna talk at you rather than with you. So <laughs> um, make sure you're interactive, interrupt me. I am okay with that. Uh, as Tracy said, I have a PhD. I actually just left my job as a professor at the University of Louisville. Um, and so I am, I'm okay with being interrupted and making a class what we need to make it. So I have that background. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. If you would like to follow along, you can feel free to do that. Hopefully I will be giving enough verbal uh, cues for you to follow along in that manner um, so that you don't actually have to watch the screen. But if you wanna watch the screen, you can. And there is an app and in the chat box, I went ahead and put a link. If you need an account, you can go ahead and sign up using that link. And then CinchShare just recently released a code called, that is Cinch Free, C-I-N-C-H-F-R-E-E, -E, where you can get 37 days free. So a 37 day free trial. And then after that, it is relatively, um, money conscious, I guess, is <laughs> kind of the term that I'm looking for. It's, it's not overly pricey. It's about $10 a month. If you pay annually, then it's just a little over $8 a month for cent share. And for me, it is 100% worth it. And let me show you why. 
So you can actually schedule using SynthShare on Facebook, on your profile, or your Facebook wall, whatever you want to call it. I confused Tracy when I was telling her, using the term Facebook wall yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> um, and you can also use it to schedule in groups and on your page in Facebook. You cannot schedule in, in the event, just so you are aware. So if you are doing virtual tastings using an event, I would highly recommend that you switch that and use a group. Part of the reason for that and part of the reason why SynthShare doesn't allow us to post in an event is because the Facebook algorithm likes to promote community and groups are considered a community based component of Facebook. And so they give priority in the algorithm to posts that are put in a group. In fact, um, it gives greater priority to the group than it does a Facebook page. So if you're debating between one or the other and you don't have time for either, or you don't have time for both, then I would highly recommend that you just do a group. So do your virtual tastings in a group and um, use Cinture to schedule them to make it easy on yourself rather than Facebook scheduler. So let's talk a little bit more about that. Oh, and you can also use this for Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. So you can see right here, I have all of mine that are, oops, let me open the chat box. There are a few of you that have it. Oh, Tracy, that link is my referral code. Yeah, that link, that link takes you directly to uh, me. And when I share a folder, as well, if you don't have an account and you just click on that folder, it will still, I will still be your referrer, if that makes sense. Yeah. So if you use that link, then you should be good to go. Um, okay, so you can see all of the things that I have connected right here. So on my timeline, and then I have my Facebook groups, and then I have my page, and I have, and I need to add my one hope page, so I'll show you how to add something as well. Um, and then I have Twitter, Instagram, two different accounts on Instagram, and then my LinkedIn timeline. And so I can schedule either the same posts or different posts on all of those platforms. So when you first sign up for SyncShare, you are going to want to go ahead and add in your social networks. So this is the main page. This is the page that it'll initially pop up on is this scheduling page. You'll want to click this circle on the left hand side, the second icon down in the teal menu. From here, you will need to connect your social media accounts. And the way that you can do that, I'm going to down, is just by clicking on each of the tabs. So, for example, I said that I needed to connect my Facebook page. So, when I click on Facebook, it doesn't show my One Hope page. But if I click on refresh, what it does is it automatically connects. So the first time you'll have to put in your username and password, granted access, etc. But it will automatically connect and refresh. And you can see that my One Hope wine with Aaron just popped up. And so now it's showing it, but the heart, this, so there are some wonky things with Cinture, but they're worth overcoming, I promise. You'll notice that the heart and the check mark are still teal rather than black like these other i'm sorry hold on i'm getting a phone call my computer is so old that i can't turn off the notifications on it just so you know <laughs> um so the accounts that i have linked have this black heart and the black check mark so you'll want to go ahead when you connect these and click on those icons and make them black. If I wanted to take something off, I could disconnect it by unchecking those. And I can also hide it by checking the eyeball. Now you can say that when you see that one went away. If I wanted to add that again, I would go up here to show all. And these are all the groups that I have access to, which is a ton, I know. Um, but I would just click, this is the one that I just took off. I would just click right here and it would show back up. Okay, Kim says she is good to go. No, you have a question. You gave me a thumbs up, not a hand raise, sorry. <laughs> I just have clapping and a thumbs up. So I'm like, okay, neither one work. Instagram, adding your Instagram. Okay, adding my Instagram. 
Um, so I actually just created a separate One Hope Wine with Erin Instagram as well. So you click on the Instagram tab, and then did you see what I did there? I did that really quickly, sorry. Um, over here on the right-hand side, you would click Add Instagram. So when I do that, I enter a label. So I wanna, I'm just gonna make it my handle. So I think it's One Hope oh, I can't see your screen. with Erin. And then I click Add. And there it is. And so now I will favorite it and check mark it, uh, it because I want it to be prioritized. And then the check mark is me actually adding it as able to um, post to it as a default account. Does that help, Kim? No. Okay. Walk me through what you're struggling with. Says. Trying to get you and everything. Anyway, when I go to add Instagram, I mean, it's there, but then install SenseShare app for Android or iOS in order to post to Instagram. So I went ahead, get it on Google Play. It says it's installed, but it still won't let me uncheck and do the heart and kind of stuff. We can do this separately at another time, but it just is, it wasn't as easy as yours. Other people are going to, so let's try to figure it out. Um, Since Share also has amazing training and tutorials. So unfortunately I am all Mac and iOS. So I have not experienced what you are experiencing right now, um, going to Google Play. Okay. So Walk me through, if you don't mind, what do you see on your screen? Um, anything yet? And then you just can't check these or? So I added my Instagram account and it's pay it forward wine underscore one hope. And then I've got a heart with like a, a lightning like bolt through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then a check and an, and an X at the bottom. And it says install the Sense Share app for Android or iOS in order to post to Instagram. Um, and since my computer is not a Mac, I did the Google Play. I clicked the Google Play. It says that it's installed. You're gonna have to do it on your phone. Ah. Uh, so download the okay. Share app on your phone. It should, which I have. You should be able to do it from there because Instagram is really mobile centric. So okay. that makes it a problem. Once you get that sorted through your mobile app for Instagram, you may be better off. Let me know and we can connect later. Okay. Because like I said someone else probably has that same issue and I might be able to go through the Sentier tutorials and find one that is specifically on that and then post it in the CE image sharing after this. Okay. All right. Roxanne asked, uh, can you schedule posts for your stories in both Instagram and Facebook? Yes, <laughs> you can do stories as well. Um, yay. I know. So you will have to, uh, if you are posting to your Facebook profile or your Instagram, when it pops up as a scheduled option, um, because you kind of have to manually choose. So that's the only downfall of that is when it's your Facebook wall or Instagram, because you have two options, um, you will have to manually initiate it. So it will pop up and say, hey, this post is ready to be, is scheduled to be sent out right now. Do you want it on your feed or your story? And you'll just either tap feed or story. Awesome. And Aaron, that's for anything with like Instagram, right? Like Instagram, it doesn't automatically post, like Facebook will automatically post it. Instagram, everybody will get a notification. So then they have to click it to post it to Instagram. Correct. It won't be auto. Okay. It is super easy. Um, I get the notification, I click it and it'll pop up and it'll say, are you ready to post it? I say yes. And it will automatically load the picture because it's all pre-populated and automatically have the text copied on your clipboard. So you don't even have to click copy and paste. You just click, yep, that's what I want and paste the text in and click go. 
that's a great question. Yeah, so that is something else that's a little wonky with SimShare, but um, in my opinion, because I've tried almost all of these scheduling software platforms, this is the one that's the most comprehensive, at least in terms of the platform that I use, or platforms that I use. I know Later is another one that has Pinterest. It's the only one I know of that has scheduling options for Pinterest even. Um, but it doesn't have Instagram or Twitter or LinkedIn. So it just has Facebook or Pinterest. So you just need to kind of play with it and figure out what's going to work best for you. For me, these are the platforms that I use most frequently. And so that's what I'm going to be. This is what works best for me. It is also made originally for direct sellers. Um, and so it has that option of sharing folders and we'll get to that in a little bit, which is really nice as well because you can all, we can all work together. And um, like I've been sharing with the done for you posts in the CE image sharing group, you can share that. You can share folders with your team. If you have virtual tasting images, and posts that you recommend, you can share it with your team. Okay. Other questions about getting it initially signed up and started before we move on. All right, when you add a group and you want to schedule posts into a group on Facebook, there is something in the group itself in settings that you need to change. So here I've gone into groups and I'm going to create a new group. Um, we have a mega party. I'm going to call it something flashier than that, that I'm doing with a Zaya consultant um, and a Rodan Fields consultant. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and create that group for you here so you can kind of see what it's all about. Um, let me go ahead and was all of these that just popped up. Right. Okay, so I'm in this group. I'm setting up the group. I'm going to go ahead and just go to continue. I'm going to scroll all the way down to settings on this left hand side. And this is the new Facebook, which everybody defaults to now. And I'm going to scroll all the way down under settings to move some of my Zoom stuff around. And down here at apps. I want to click the gray pencil. When I do that, I'm going to click add apps. And then in the search bar, I'm going to type in SyncShare. I'm going to click on SyncShare. I'm going to click add. And then when I go down, I can verify that that has been added. So there's one app listed there. And now I can go back to SyncShare. I'm having to move around all my Zoom toolbars because I'm going all over my screen here. Um, now I can go back to Censure, go back to Manage Networks and click on Refresh. And the group should pop right up under Facebook Groups. There it is, Mega Party. So now I will go ahead and Click those icons and I am good to go. So now I am ready to schedule everything. Okay, so when you want to schedule something, you will go up here to schedule a post. If you want to just do an individual post, this is where you'll start. So I wanna go ahead and welcome everybody to the mega party and I want it to go out starting Sunday the 18th. So welcome to the mega party. We are so excited to have you here. Please take a look around. I don't know, I'm just making stuff up right now for the sake of this tutorial, but, um, and let us know what questions you have. So there's the text portion. Now you'll notice it gives me characters up here for Instagram and Twitter. You will max out on characters for certain types of platforms. So if I were to continue and just type a whole bunch of stuff, eventually I'm going to run out for Twitter and it'll turn red. There you go. So now you can see I'm 13 characters over for Twitter. 
if I were to try to post this, schedule this for Twitter, it's going to give me an error message. So what I would have to do is uncheck my Twitter box here. I know I do not want to post to Twitter and it, that goes away. And now it will not give me an error message when I try to schedule it. So if I want to put a link, the way the Facebook algorithm works is that links are bad <laughs> in um, the text. So if you put a link in a text, it will actually, I think someone recently just posted a statistic in a third party mastermind that I'm in that said that um, any post with a link will only go to 5% of your Facebook audience. So what Cinture has done is they have this special box for a link. So if I wanted to post a link here, I could go ahead and do that. And then it's not in the box and it will increase the uh, audience reach that way. So I have this link. I can also add videos or photos. So if I wanted to upload a video or photo, I could do that right here. I can either click right here in the camera icon and it'll automatically bring up a box. Can you see the box? Am I sharing my whole, just my screen or my whole up? Okay. Um, I can go to choose file or you can actually paste it directly from a URL. So if you have a URL that has a picture and you want to take it from that, you can put the photo URL right there. Now this is for a single photo. You can actually schedule up to 10 photos with SitShare by clicking on this camera icon with the plus button or the plus in the corner. So when I click on that, oh, it's not giving me the option because I have a link. So let me get rid of that. So you can't have a link and the multiple photos but you can have a link in a single photo. So when I click on this, I can upload up to 10. So I will go ahead and just do a whole bunch of these wine ones. Let's say I wanna do all of the candy pairings. So I will select them all, I'll click open. It will upload them all. And as they get uploaded, you can see them listed here. I can then click and drag and reorder them if I want to. I can also add text clips, which is kind of like saved text that you have. Um, I haven't saved any yet, but you can save, say for example, your shopping, your shopping link in a text clip, or you have 30 hashtags that you always like to use on Instagram. You can save that as a text clip and then you can click on this and you can add that text clip that is just saved in your Cinture account. But I can also go ahead and just, you know, add whatever text I want for each of the picture. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Is that, is that a caption for the, each of the pictures? <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay. <laughs> this is a caption for each of the pictures. Tracy for the win with the, uh, <laughs> word <laughs> with the terms so in there. real life you probably wouldn't want to you would want to caption it but you want to you don't want to put your same hashtags on every single picture because it's no, going no. in one post correct correct so um that is really just for the text clips so okay. you can add text clips anywhere and mm -hmm. that is where you can save things so you don't have to type out 30 hashtags every time if you yeah. always Hashtags. But yes, in real life, you will not want to. And really, these um, caption options are meant only for Facebook. You're not going to have these picture captions on Instagram. They just will not show up. So you'll have to keep that in mind, too, as you, I can schedule this for both Facebook and Instagram, but Instagram's not going to show these individual picture captions. So are the text clips available within the body um, of the message? Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and do the text clips right now. So you can kind of see that. Um, again, I have to move around all these Zoom things. So text clips is this icon right here, and the third icon down. Um, yes, we'll go ahead and do that, that's fine. 
So now I can go ahead and create a new text clip. And I'm going to put my shopping link www.onehopeline.com forward slash my shop forward slash Aaron Myers. That's my shopping link. I'm going to click save. And now I have that as a text clip. And I can go ahead and do the same thing with hashtags. So I'm going to put maybe IG wine hashtags. Um, you can have up to 30 for IG for Instagram. So one hope wine happens, you know, fun little ones, whatever you want. Click save. And now I have those. So now if I go back to manage posts, which it didn't save that post that I just did, um, because I chose not to, but I will go ahead and do that. Up here, you can see it says text clips. So I can click on that and it has my list of text clips that I just created. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my shopping link in there, which again, you actually don't want to do that for Facebook, but just as an example, and I'll throw in my IG hashtags as well. Please type in your Instagram handles when you have a chance. That's super awesome. Tracy would like everybody to type in their Instagram handles when you have a chance. <laughs> and just to reiterate what Erin's talking about when you're posting on Facebook, um, that's not just in relation to cinch share by putting your link in there um, in your original post. That's why a lot of people um, have link in comments. You don't even need to say that because too, Facebook searches for those words. Like they're getting super smart. But what Facebook used to do was they wouldn't show it as much. It does, like Aaron said, it only shows to your audience like 5% of your audience. Um, now Facebook has it so it, opens up that link within Facebook. So they're not going out of Facebook. So at least there's that option. Um, but yeah, it's always better just to, you know, put it in your link in your comments. So you're saying Tracy that, um, so anytime you have a link, put it into like the first comment of that post, but are, are you saying not to um, even reference that it's in the comments? Yeah, they're get, um, Facebook's getting super smart about what they're saying up there. I mean, you could say link in comments or link in bio, but there's a whole change, you know, with Facebook and the whole new thing that we all have now for our Facebook wall and our feed and everything. Um, wow. Facebook has a built-in shopping platform and everything because Facebook is just wanting to capitalize on all of that as they should because of there's like a billion users of Facebook every single day. Like the stats are crazy. Um, so, you know, they're also trying to make it so it's better for your audiences on who's seeing what and where. Um, I mean, you can write like, you know, shop my link or link in bio or, you know, I always write link in bio on my Instagram stuff because we're, what, what we also need to do is we're also all um, cause entrepreneurs. So we want to make sure that we're leading people back to our direct sites and not just to one hope. Um, so, you know, it's good to, you know, you can write your name in there, cause entrepreneur, you can, you know, reference, you know, just be like, you could even say, uh, you know, check out my fundraisers in the comments below or, you know, yeah. my fundraisers. So that kind of information too. Okay, perfect. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks, Tracy. Keep popping in with all the information and clarification. I appreciate it. Okay. Um, so I went ahead then and put the link in the link portion. I just copied it directly in there and then I added a new video. I am ready to go ahead and schedule this post out to the mega party. But let's say I wanna save it for future tastings. So if I click down here, I have all of these folders that I can save it into. So I have my old tasting posts. I have my folder um, for virtual tastings in October. I have the September VIP, so you can see. And then I have a whole bunch of ones that were actually sent share um, templates as well. Can they you provide that again? Which part? Can you where to click to save it to a folder. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. Sorry, I'm just going over the folders. 
Um, oh, I'm sorry. You're saying in general. Great question. Okay, I, because I didn't verbalize that. Down here, there's this portion that says, that is kind of a white bar right above scheduled post. If you click on that arrow, you can select a folder and you can search for it or you can click on new folder. So I'm gonna do new folder and I'm gonna do mega party. Um, saving posts. And now I have a folder called mega party tasting posts. If I click on that, it, this bar now says saved mega party tasting posts. And if I click on this arrow, again, this is why training is kind of needed for this stuff. It's not necessarily intuitive, but once you learn it, there's so much that this platform can do. So if you click on this arrow, I can now click save. Now it's going to tell me that there's an error. All right, so now what's the error? Link posts are not supported on Instagram and I have Instagram checked here. So what I can do is I can clear all because I don't actually want to, uh, when I schedule it, schedule it to all of these places anyway. I'm just gonna do the Mega Party Facebook group. So I will clear all and then select Mega Party. And now when I click save, link is not a valid URL. Okay, great. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Now when I click save, I should be good to go. Success, your post was saved. So now if I go in to this fourth icon down on the left-hand side, here are all of my saved posts. So this is called managed posts. These are all of my VIP group scheduled out posts for the month of October that it defaulted to because that's the last folder I had open. Um, but I'm going to click on this folder, Mega Party Tasting Posts, and you can see that that post is now in here. And there are a whole bunch of different things I can do with this post here. So I can click on the pencil icon and I can edit it. It'll take me right back here to be able to edit it. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to change anything. So I can go ahead and schedule it out right here. But I also want to show you that when I go back into that folder, if I don't need to edit it and I'm just ready to schedule it, I can go ahead and click the airplane, the paper airplane icon here, and it'll take me to that same, same exact screen. So the pencil icon and the paper airplane technically do the same thing, but they give you two options because really, I mean, some people are like, well, I don't want to edit it. I just want to send it. It does the exact same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this post be scheduled for Mega Party, and I'm gonna do it for two minutes from now so that we can go in and you can see what it looks like when it's scheduled. So I have now set it for 12.42 p.m. I'm on East Coast time on Friday, October 9th. I'm gonna click down here on Schedule Post. Now, because I scheduled this post originally from a saved folder under manage posts. I can go right back to manage posts by clicking yes. And I can go ahead and do my next one if I want. Now I don't have a next one right now, um, but that's how I did that. So now if I go back here to this main schedule a post screen, you can see all of my scheduled posts over here on the right hand side. So I can either sort by scheduled date. So you can see that my next post to go out is actually that post. It's right up here at the top. The other thing I can do is I can go to most recent and it's gonna show you um, then in order of when they recently posted. So that one looks like it has posted now, or maybe not quite, but it will soon. I can also click here on the search bar and I can sort by all of my social media accounts that I have posts scheduled to go out on. So if I wanted to look at just the posts that I have coming up on Instagram today under my Aaron Myers account, here's my one that's scheduled to go out today. Here's my one that's scheduled to go out Sunday, or I guess not today. My one for today has already gone out, but on the 10th, so tomorrow, um, then Sunday, Monday, etc. I can also then 
click here and I can see, for example, I had um, a fundraiser going on right now, a virtual tasting going on right now. And I can see all of my scheduled posts for the entire rest of the tasting. We're doing a month long one. So I'm dripping like one a day um, towards the end and I'm front loading right now. So you can see that there's five scheduled, four scheduled for the rest of today, five for tomorrow. It's got the date, it has the time on it. Um, if I wanted to modify something or delete it, I decided I don't want it scheduled out anymore. Or let's say I highlight a wine and all of a sudden it's sold out. I can click this arrow here and go to edit post. I can copy a post or I can delete a post right there. Okay, nobody's asking any questions. <laughs> so I'm gonna pause there for a second because this is a fire hose effect. What questions do we have on just the basic scheduling? We're pretty much blown away, just so you know. Okay, <laughs> thanks for the feedback, Kim. Hopefully in a good way, blown away. I know, I'm like, okay, I'm writing. You only can write and I can't talk and write at the same time. I, I don't multitask that way just doesn't happen so mm -hmm. so can you this is okay oh, go I'm ahead. sorry Kim go ahead. no go go Tony I was gonna say Aaron um this is the graphic designer in me who gets like overwhelmed with way too many things showing up on my screen and one of the things that immediately struck me as being okay this is hard for me to deal with is that sort by in the upcoming posts because yeah. i really want to be able to sort it better than it does <laughs> and i don't know um how, how yeah you will probably just want to go in and do each individual account or group and look at it that way okay now, I mean, this annoys me too, because right now this is everything that I have scheduled across all platforms. Um, and it only even goes to the 17th right now. It's only showing me, you know, a, a limited amount because I have so much. Like I've got stuff scheduled out all the way through November 3rd. Um, so the best way for me to make sure that I have everything that I want scheduled out is by going in to each individual one. Okay, this is my VIP group. What do I have scheduled out? And now it's a little bit cleaner to me, but it may not be either. Um, it may not be to you, it may not be clean enough because there is a lot going on on every one of these pages. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that is helpful. I didn't know we could do that. So um, you did show me that much at least. I have stuff posted for a group that's not related at all to, um, my business so and there's posts in there every you know three days out of the week and that's all i'm seeing is all of that stuff got you yeah i would recommend just limiting it to whatever you're focused on at any given time because if you're like me and you've got how many accounts you know here in groups that are linked to this there's way too much to be able to pick out what I have scheduled and where it's all going. And these little icons kind of give you a hint as to where it's going, but you have to hover over it because this just tells me it's a group. Well, which group is it? You know, so I have to hover over it to see. I think it makes, shows you how uh, productive you're being. <laughs> I like it. That's true, it does, it does. Right? <laughs> it makes me feel um, very productive. That's a really good point. This, this does make me feel productive. Because I do have stuff scheduled all the way out to November 3rd. Yeah, there was cool. a heck of a week at the end of September getting all of my October stuff scheduled, though. But yes. <laughs> um, which is why I try to make it somewhat easy for all of you as well. So you can share folders. So I showed you how to save. So what I have done is I have saved all of my virtual tasting for October. All of my posts. You can t pick and choose what you want out of these but it has recommended verbiage, um, it has games in there, it has interactions um, that SyncShare recommends. So some of these are actually SyncShare produced graphics that I just made it simple. They have proven that these are engagement posts to increase en engagement in your tastings. They call it parties, of course, because they generalize it for all of direct sales and network marketing. Um, and so I'm like, really? People are going to comment about door wreaths? Yes, they did. 
I have more comments on the door wreath post than like anything else in my entire virtual tasting that I have running right now. So <laughs> um, I have all of these saved in here. I have the recommended verbiage. The, the other thing that you can do, um, you can see that this is shared because it has these uh, little people icons on there. I can go in and I can go to manage folder and you can see everybody who has um, access to my folder or who has borrowed my folder um, specifically from this link. So Kim, you are one of them. And then I can go in and I can copy the invite link and I can paste it right here for all of you in the chat box. If I can find the chat box again, because I threw it away because <laughs> it was in my way of my screen. There you go. And now all you would have to do is click on that and it'll automatically show up right here under manage posts. And you can click and drag it into save. So say for example, this is the, these are the sent share graphics that they have shared. Um, I can click and drag the done for you content for October 2020 into my saved folder. And then it will never disappear because when since share deletes it, it will disappear. But now it's all saved. We have unlimited storage in since share. And so now I have all of those posts right here saved for me for whenever I want for all of these graphics. Um, so you can just click that and then you have all of my virtual tasting. But what you would need to do is modify it because I do have some of my links in there. Um, and I do put links in, I think it's like a handful, three or five um, of these posts, just because you need to have a shopping link in our virtual tastings every now and then. So what you can do is go up here to the hamburger icon or the three lines icon, click select all, then go back there to the hamburger icon and click on find and replace. And what this does is it brings up all of the posts. So now let's say, so this particular one is saved for um, the Peterson Shriver Cheyenne Mountain Spouses Club. So I can highlight that, I can copy that, I can go up here, put it in text to find, and I can replace it with, um, let's say Susan G. Komen, since we know that that is something that's being pushed right now, fundraiser that's being pushed right now, so I can replace it with Susan G. Komen. Click search. Okay, question real fast. Yes, Kim. So, you know, I have an account with since share because I've already downloaded all of this. Mine does not find, mine not, does not have a find and replace up in my corner hamburger. Ah, okay, yes, because you have, it is still owned by me. You need to click and drag it to your saved folder and then it's owned by you. Thank you, Thank you. for asking that question. Thank you. I'm like, I don't have that. So, yes. Amazing. I'm glad, Roxanne. Thank you. Um, Will you be showing us where you found the um, cinch, cinch share posts that like the the wreath one that you talked about and okay good absolutely yes i can definitely do that so aaron why we're on that subject of just the generic kind of engagement posts treat your groups treat your facebook posts your instagram stuff as you would you're having a conversation with a friend so you would probably ask your friend, like I asked last night, well, like, why can't we vote uh, on our computers? Like, I mean, I won't put that on my Facebook page, but I also ask like, oh, who's missing concerts right now? Like who's doing like, you know, engage with people because it's all about social. It's not always about selling and putting your link in stuff to get that. You want people buy from people for relationships. You build a relationship with people. So. Those are fun little things that then they're going to share with their friends or they're going to tag a friend in that post to be like, oh my God, at, you know, pay it forward with, with wine. Um, you change yours like every week, I think, when I walk by your house, you know, you want to engage people. So those are why those are such a great 
posts to put in different things too. It doesn't always have to be wine related and it does not always have to say one hope on anything you create either. Just a little side note. So. Yeah. And you'll notice a lot of these engagement posts, they don't. So when I put information about, you know, the virtual tasting and um, nourishing the future and, you know, that type of thing, they're, they're one hope. Um, but some of these funny quotes, that's not one hope. But the other thing is too, um, Canva is integrated with Syncshare. So I'm gonna show you in a little bit as well how you can modify a post and make it your own via Canva, which is really cool. Um, okay, so you can see all I did up there was find and replace. So I replaced this nonprofit with this nonprofit and you can, it highlights for you everywhere that it found it and where it's replacing it. So I can go through and just make sure, okay, yep, that makes sense. It replaced it correctly, I'm good to go. And I can scroll all the way down and click update posts down here. And now all of them now have the Susan G. Komen information instead of the PSC. Um, and I can go and do the same thing for my tasting link. So I can, I will just copy the event ID and replace it with the new event ID. And you can see all the other ones that I've had out here and I've done. I'll do the same thing if it's a, a host. So um, I'll go to try to find Tara and replace it with Brandy. Um, and so I can do that super easily and I'll just go through and change out the name of the host, the name of the nonprofit and the tasting link, as well as if when I go live, I'm gonna do it on a different day or a different time, then I'll go in and I will change that as well. Okay, um, so then you will need to batch post. So once you have modified it, you can go in and you can batch post. And what I like to do is I don't like to batch post them all at the same time. So now you can see I have all of these selected and I wouldn't recommend putting 59 posts in a single tasting, um, however, I just threw a bunch of them in there so that you can pick and choose what you want. So if I were to go to batch post and select all, it would have all of them and I would have to apply the exact same interval, meaning I would do every few minutes, every few hours or every day, um, which is why I don't like to do it this way because it has to be at equal intervals. Instead, what I like to do is if I have say a five day virtual tasting, I like to schedule out four or five posts a day. So instead of doing select all, I can clear the selection, which it was already cleared. I will go ahead. I know this is my first one. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. Here are my five posts that I want for day one. I'll go up here and I will then go to batch post. And I will schedule it for Right now, I'm gonna put it in the mega party and I want these to go out every three hours in the mega party, say, and I'll change it. I want it to be on East Coast time and I actually want it to start and I can change the time where it starts. Let's say I wanna start it at 9.57 a.m. It's gonna tell me that's in the past and that's wrong. So, but that's usually when I do start them is 9, 12, 3, 6, and 9. So now I click on apply interval and it'll go on and it'll change the date and the time that it's scheduled for. And it'll tell me the set interval in between each of the posts. And so let's say, oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and post this one an hour earlier. I can modify it right here and change it to AM. And then that'll switch everything else. And you can see that that interval changed then. So are you able, so if, are you only able to do this or a group in which you're an owner of, or um, for instance, uh, I've seen like uh, vendor events, say, are you, and, and you are not the owner of it. You don't necessarily- but you're a member. But you have to be an admin. You have to be an admin. You have to have permission to Post in that group, or you have to own it to a certain extent. Um, you have to be an, at least an admin, so you okay. can just be a member. Yeah. Okay. We won't let you do that. 
That's a great question. Okay. Um, and so then I'm going to schedule batch and I can't do that. It's yelling at me because it's not now. So let me, what time is it? 12.57. Oh, we're running out of time. Um, <laughs> is everybody, does everybody want to stay on and learn a little bit more? I want to be respectful of your time or we can do a part two. Tracy, any thought? Um, uh, no, I'm fine with having stay on for just a little bit longer. I know I have to leave about, I have to leave my home in like 45 minutes. Um, maybe if you want to share um, the Canva. I'll mm -hmm. share the Canva and then thinking of Canva, that might be really good. And then also too, everybody, um, this is recorded. So we will post it in the CE image sharing group. Also, I know with like CinchShare and Canva and any program that you use, use their resources that they provide as well. They all have amazing tutorials. And also YouTube is like hands down amazing to find tutorials on how to do stuff too. Like I search all the time for random things like last night it was how to, how do I find all the files that are over a certain size? Cause my Gmail box was running out of room. Like, so I can delete all these files, um, you know, so definitely, you know, use Google. Google is your best friend, except for when you're looking for images to utilize for one hope. Go to your shareables and your, um, your website first, or if you happen to be watching this, you're with any other company, always check your resources first from your company. So you put the correct, you, you're not posting old content. Um, so many people find old content and want to post it. And it's like, we don't even have those wines. We don't even have those same statistics. So just, you know, keep in line and um, with that. That's my one little, my little note right now. <laughs> yeah, the one other thing, could you just quickly show where we access those items? Yeah. Uh, okay, great. Okay. Okay. Let me show you that. So um, support right here on the Censure webpage has, I mean, crazy amounts of information. There's also a great Facebook group. It's called, I think, Cinch Social. Um, and it has trainings that they do all the time in it. And I've learned a lot from attending those. So I would recommend that as well. Okay, so where do you find the pre-made graphics? So here under Manage Posts, so that fourth icon down on the left menu, you can go to any of these posts. So let's say I want to do a Facebook theme party bundle. I'm going to do Wicked Night In, Halloween themed. It's all right here, all of these posts. Um, and I want to kind of personalize this and make it my own. Well, you can tell that I can't edit it right now. And the reason for that is because it's owned by CentShare still, technically. So I need to move this folder under my saved by just clicking and dragging. And now it's gonna be right here for me. So Facebook theme party bundles. I'll click on that, scroll down to Wicked Night In. And now I have the pencil icon where I can modify it. So I'll click on the pencil icon and there it is. It's right there for me. And this button right here says design with Canva. I can now click on this and I wanna do a Facebook post say rather than an Instagram post or a LinkedIn post. I can modify it for any platform. I want to do a Facebook post. I'll click on it and it will open it up in Canva for me. Maybe. <laughs> it's taking its time. Um, so I can either modify it that way and it's not going to load, but it, I can at least show you how I, you can do this. So now all of the templates from Canva are available to me. All of the great systems from Canva are available to me. Um, the one thing I will say is it doesn't save it in your Canva profile, so you can't go to your past designs, but it will be saved directly in uh, CentShare for you. So let's say I want to go ahead and use this. I change it, I modify it, I make it my own. I will click publish. And it'll process down here. And there it is. And so now I can do whatever and I can schedule it out. 
Does that answer all of the questions related to Canva and the Cinch share graphics? So you can kind of play around. I didn't really pause and wait for answers. So you guys jump in, but you can kind of play around with what Cinch share has to offer under graphics. They'll also give you links to folders in that Facebook group that I mentioned that Cinch social, see that five times fast. Um, but here are the engagement posts where I stole a bu bunch of them. I went to fall holiday and there's that wreath one that you saw. They've got them for Christmas, Hanukkah, uh -huh. Halloween. Um, Stop the GIF is a really fun one. That's where you have to do a screenshot on your phone and try to get the GIF to stop where it says to stop. And then they, and then it pulls in also the, you said the recommended text or recommended verbiage. Yes. So oh, gotcha. here you go. Um, I have all of these already saved under my save folder. So I'm going to open them there as well. Um, so engagement posts and then games. Maybe. There we go. Stop the gift. So I'm going to open it. Now I've got the pencil icon. When I click on the pencil icon, here it oh, is. The directions right there. So I can add in, you know, instead of stop the gift in the winning spot, um, share image here in the comments for a chance to win, I can add in free shipping. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I just Venmo a refund for shipping um, by doing a free shipping raffle in my virtual tastings. Gotcha. Over how to do it to the stories only because I don't see stories along this um, section in the center where all your things are. Okay, so stories, you have to do it manually. Um, so with stories, let me see, I don't think I might, because I can't screen share from my phone through this. The video clip. Um, what about to your Facebook stories? It has to be from the app. Oh, okay. Which looks very similar um, because it is, you have to manually do it. Uh, so it has to be a manual post. So let me see. If you plug your phone in to your computer, Erin, if you have that, the thing you should be and go back to stop share and it should see your phone on there as one of the share options. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, I, knew, I figured you could do it somewhere. Okay. Um, hold on, I have to download a plugin. This is such good information. And it, it does seem like it's like, whoa, like I'm with Tony, like, whoa, there's a lot of stuff on my screen right now. There's a lot of stuff going on, but, uh, you know, I love that we were able to, you know, take away some of this stuff because <laughs> it does, it does look overwhelming, but I think that's, you know, gives us such a great big picture of what is possible mm -hmm. um, and how, you know, we can use some things to simplify our lives so that that's what we're all about is, you know, making life a little less hectic. And there's so much more that this, this can do. This is all really, you know, very down and dirty. Um, and I feel like I've kind of been a little bit all over the place. So please reach out and let me know if you have questions. But okay, um, notifications here. So it should, some share should have notified me here somewhere um, that it, I need to push. One up there. Did you see it? I thought I did. Uh, well, I'll just oh, no, I just saw your Facebook event with Cinch Share. Yeah. Okay. Let me just schedule one right now. So I'll open up Cinch Share. And oh, there we go. So here are my scheduled Facebook posts, just as an example. So um, I this is one that I already had scheduled, but I have to manually push it because it's either on my Facebook wall or it's my Instagram. Um, and so I will click post now. And 
Um, it is, why did it do that? That's weird. Oh, because it's in my history, never mind. So um, here's one. So post now, this is for my Instagram. And it says right at the top what Instagram you're posting it to, right? So that was just like, to your- I can select it as well. And you'll notice that here. So it'll tell you what Instagram I'm posting it to, but it'll also give me the option to do it to the other Instagram. If I were to go to feed rather than story, I could select all of my Instagrams and post it to all of my Instagrams at once. But I'm gonna go ahead with story because that's what you were specifically asking about. Yeah. And then just go to send to and I can share it to my story just like I would any other Instagram story. Gotcha. Um, so now I can go back and I can take a look at my other one. So here's my other Instagram. Um, and I've got one from October 7th that I never sent pushed out. Um, I'm not going to do that because it says Wednesday. But let's say... I want to do this exact same one now, and I want to do it on my feed instead. I will select feed, and now I can go through the process of doing it in my feed. And so um, I didn't have any text, but if I did have text for this one, I would just paste it in there. Oh, there we go. There was some text that was already, I already had copied, but I'll put it in there. Um, I want this on that Instagram account. Actually, I'll put it on both of those. I can also put it on Facebook, um, Twitter, if I have them connected, and I'll click share. So basically, it's almost like a whole, so when you're talking about stories, it's almost like um, cinch share is like a holding tank for then you to go out and manually then do it. But that's Correct. awesome. Okay. <laughs> Wall and for Instagram, that is exactly what CinchShare is for. It's like a holding tank and it'll notify you. It'll send you a notification. I'll ping you and say, hey, your post is scheduled to go out now. You should go ahead and manually do that. But for groups and pages and Twitter and LinkedIn, um, it will do it automatically. So, oh, that was the other thing that I was going to show you and I did. Oh, wait. Um, so you're saying that for our Facebook wall or whatever you call it profile you, you still have to manually do it just your facebook wall and instagram and the reason for that is because of the story option okay okay select the story but remember how back at the very beginning i um created this group and we scheduled we scheduled a post for it so when, if i were to go back to this particular oh, yeah. You can see what it looks like. Oops, hold on just a second. I need to go home. And I need to refresh and I should have. Of course, it's probably not gonna work for me because I'm just trying to show it off. But um, yep, yeah, there it is. So since share 28 minutes ago, automatically scheduled that post for me. And it was a link to the One Hope One video. So you can see that it does say that it came from since share. Some people have problems with this. Um, I will tell you, some people have mental blocks around people feeling like they're not being genuine or authentic when they post. But to be honest, that is a problem on them, first off. Second, as long as you continue to show up in your groups, monitor the comments, respond to them, um, go live, show your authentic self, they're gonna know that these posts were actually created by you, you were just being super efficient by scheduling them. And on that same note, um, again, the socials are all about being social. So engage, interact, show your authentic self, your um, Instagram stories, your Facebook stories, um, video content, everything, video content goes a lot further sometimes than just a stagnant post as well. Even adding the little the little gifs in there that counts as a video when you put it on another thing too um and don't rely on cinch share or another program to automatically just schedule everything for you you do have to go back and engage um you do have to do some 
authentic posts direct from your phone, not from a third party app because Facebook and Instagram know it's from a third party app. They know that it's not from their platform and they, even when you share from Instagram to Facebook, your Facebook will not have as high as an algorithm as your, um, the original post on your Instagram because they want content created within their platforms. So just do some scheduled posts, but then pop in a new post every once in a while, like, hey, you know, just checking in and, and that kind of stuff too, and engage uh, with the audience that's in there. So yeah. you suggest more within like um, fundraising parties and things like that, that scheduling out or in your VIP groups or whatever, um, scheduling those out, but then being in and obviously um, interacting with comments. And yeah, I would definitely schedule some out for your VIP groups. Um, that's for sure. I mean, it'll make it easy. Um, like Aaron is showing, like you could schedule all the Halloween candy pairings to like drop every day if you want, but then maybe go in and actually do a post and then maybe do something else related to it. It doesn't have to be that day, but maybe the next, but definitely go in and comment and engage because that's, what's going to help you on any social media platform is how you engage, not just what you do on your stuff. You need to be active on other people's too. So why we yeah. have everybody else's Instagram to go and comment on their stuff. Comments and little emojis go farther than just hitting the like button. Um, and you want to be seen as a person who is commenting and being engagement because that also helps Instagram and Facebook push your stuff up to be seen as well. So there's a whole lot of those like philosophies on the social media side of things and the algorithm and how that works. Um, and then with your VIP group, definitely go in and do like a live video with them. Go on, pop on live. Um, Cause they're, they're your VIPs. That's why they're in a VIP group. So you want to make sure you treat them and handle them, you know, like you would a VIP. Pull back that red, that little red carpet and let them shop and learn from you. Facebook loves lives. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And I hate them doing them. I love watching them, but I hate doing them. I um, actually was reading that they were saying, so if you were going to get ready, say to do a post and you really wanted everybody to see it, that you should go in first and um, like rather than you doing your post and then going in and you know, you're there, then you go and you start commenting on everybody's stuff is to do that first and then to do your post because then you've connected that, okay, these are all, they've got a really good connection. I want to make sure that I, I give this, I show all the, all these people what she posted. It's that's kind of doing that. For you. That's misinformation, Roxanne. Really? Yes. A lot of people are saying that. Um, I'm going to drop a, a person to follow in the chat box, or I'll just tell you, their name is um, Adventure Social. And the guy's name is John Eric. Um, is so John he, Eric? Is it spelled the way it? Yeah, I'll drop it in the, I'll drop it in okay. the chat so you can see it for sure. His, he is a person that is a hacker. He's a person that, um, Facebook, Instagram, he goes to their, their meetings. He's like one of the people that has dealt out the new stuff first. Um, so he just covered that in a conversation and he's like, that, that doesn't, that's not true. Like, uh, they, like the back, the back end of these people that are programming this stuff, know what you're up to and know what they think. And that's just, um, yeah, he'll give you some other know. really good information. And he actually, I know him because, um, I know of him because, uh, he used to be the main social person for the company called It Works. Um, yeah. And then he created his own thing from that to help people like us in the direct sales company not be janky, not be like popping into somebody's inbox and saying, hey girl, I know we went to high school together and I see you drinking wine. And, you know, I sell wine. Like to stop that and to stop the negative connotations of MLM and how some of us not us on this call, but how some other people do their business. Um, yeah. So, you know, he's really good to listen to and he's 
he's kind of ADD. He's all over the board. When you follow his page, he jumps on at like midnight. I don't know if Kim, if you're nodding, like you know who he is, but he's like, he's all over the board, but he gets some amazing information out there too. And he's been saying for like a year and a half now, like video, 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 do video, but it's, there's a lot of stuff. So yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so Tracy, one of the things that I learned, which is why I just pulled up my screen here, and you can tell me if this is not accurate then, is go into your messages and you see how I have people with the green dots. That means that they're active right now. Mm -hmm. And so if I click on them and I go to their profile and I comment or like some of their posts, like, yay, happy birthday to London. Um, you're supposed to do that before you go live or anything. Is that inaccurate then, Tracy, based on what you're hearing? Yeah, it doesn't really help you to go in and comment on a bunch of people's posts just before you do something live. Um, it's going to help you anyway because you should go in and, and comment and stuff too. And the more words, the better. Like, I think it's like it knows if you're writing like hey or you know one or two words throwing an emoji in there that kind of stuff too that elevates the instagram the algorithm with different things um i'll see if i can find one of his i've shared some of his lives into the ce image sharing page and stuff too um because he's just really really good and it's just really interesting and but um yeah it doesn't help to boost your stuff also when you're using um one hope to or your information on it's always good if you see somebody else from one hope too and they comment and stuff on your things but don't go and do an ask and be like hey everybody i'm gonna do a live can you come and watch me and comment on it um i mean it's good to have comments and engagement but if people are smart and they look and they click and they're like oh well Aaron's a One Hope rep, Kim's a One Hope rep, Tony's One Hope rep, jo Jennifer's yes. One Hope rep. Oh, everybody that commented and said they liked the wine. Well, of course they do. They all sell it too. Um, so you want like real engagement, not just fake engagement too. So I guess that's kind of what it comes down to. Well, I was going to show just one last thing. Yep. I'm like, we're totally off the subject of Aaron and we'll have to do a a sick year part two as well. <laughs> I think we've covered mostly everything, but ask all the questions and, and that can help us create a part two if we need it. Um, but if you have more than 10 pictures that you want to share on SynthShare, what they recommend doing, and they actually recommend this just in general, if you're doing a, um, let's say like a 15 or 30 minute pop-up tasting and you're doing a bunch of posts in a short period of time, uh, putting your pictures on your Facebook page and then going to your albums. So you can do that in a couple of different ways and pulling the address, the URL off of that and plugging it in the link. So check out the line do something really quickly. I'll throw it in that mega party. We'll schedule it for right now. Um, and now it is scheduled. And so I can go back to that particular group. And it should show up here in just a moment. And you can kind of see how that will fill up. That's really cool that you can that album to there. Yes. Mm -hmm. I never would have thought of that, except I attended one of those and share trains. So that's awesome. It's of course not going to show up in a timely manner for me though. Um, well, while we're waiting for that, let me go ahead and find that Censure group. Here it is. And I'll put this the link to this group in the chat box for everybody. So they do um, a lot of training in here and it's all like 15 to 30 minutes of just these, you know, post nine out of 13. So you can go in and look at all of the past trainings. 
We also have a units tab. You can ask questions. So it's a great, great resource. Awesome. Okay, what else? Tony, oh, do you have shareable posts for virtual fundraisers that you're willing to share? Yes. Did I give you that link yet? Is that what the previous link was? I think um, that was your um, October VIPs. Okay, let me share the virtual tasting as well. And I update and change this folder with all of the new monthly stuff. So this link, the name will change on it for each month after I've updated it, but it'll be the same link. Oh, that looks like the same link as the one before. So let me do oh. the VIP just to make sure that I get both of them in there. Adventure Social. Thank you, Tracy. Okay, who has the next question? And so in order to take a look at those, we just sign up for Cinch Share. I have the hardest time saying that. And then, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then um, we go, and then we, we go in and I guess I can figure it out. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, just click directly on any of these links that I've put in here, and it's going to take you if you're not. And so, if I were to log out, say, oh, okay, it, it'll take you to a sign up page because it's okay, will... perfect. So, you can... really appreciate all of this. No problem. I mean, I figure if I'm making it, yeah, see, so I just clicked on it, and it's either going to have you log in or join now. Um, so, you can start a 14 day free trial or um, you can do use that cinch free code for 37 day free trial. Erin, how long does it take you to like plan out a month? What kind of time investment do you? It took me about a week to do of all, all of October, but I was doing it in bits and pieces. If I were to sit down and do it all at once, I'd say it'd probably be about four hours. Um, just because I'm trying to find new things, you know, so I, I go on to the, Google Drive that One Hope provides, and I look for the images for the, say if I'm doing November, for the November promos, um, or I'll put a placeholder in there if we, they haven't released it yet and I'm doing it still in October. Um, I will see what CentShare recommends for their calendar. They actually have a social calendar where they recommend this day do an engagement post, this day do a product highlight, this day do um, and I try to follow that because I trust them in terms of their research and statistics as to what works for social selling. Um, so it just takes me a little bit to kind of plan that out to find the pictures that I want and get it all inputted. And I also want to recommend while Erin is so generous to share what she's doing, please create your own. You can use hers, but every single one of these. So when, as we're growing, as any company is growing, pretty soon what happens too is if 6,000 of us SCEs are using, or what are we called? CEs, we used to be called SCEs, or I don't know. <laughs> that was a total flashback. Um, if we're all using the exact same photo, Facebook is gonna say something's up. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna be like, why are you guys all using that exact same photo? Yeah. That's why in image sharing too, I always recommend creating your own. Right. Use yourself, be your own model. If you look at any influencer, if you look at anything that they do, um, they're, it's photos of themselves with the product. You you know, share the wine on your table. It And again, it doesn't have to be, you're not one hope the corporate office, you're, doesn't, doesn't have to be beautiful, seamless photography like Taylor's providing us. Um, it should be nice and represent yourself and the, the products well. But again, you know, the more you start showing people that you're a human and you're not a corporate image, the better you're going to have for engagement. Yeah, go in, use my stuff just as a placeholder and modify it. I mean, that's the point of it. Yeah. I mean, and, and they do great imagery and stuff too, but you know, 
And if you are sharing stuff, I always recommend put your name on it because if somebody reshares it, all they're going to see is the One Help bottle and they're going to go back to onehelpwine.com and they're not going to say, oh, Tony Williams, let me put in her name. I saw this on her thing. They're just, they're not going to, I mean, and because we're so new in that wine space and One Hope is in retail plus in what we do for direct sales, um, the consumer doesn't understand what we do. I've been doing this for six years with One Hope and I still have friends that are just like, oh yeah, I bought some One Hope the other day and I'm like, and you didn't put in my name or shop one of my fundraisers. And they're like, oh, I didn't know that I had to do that. And it's like, okay. So, and, and they've like ha been at parties or stuff like that too. So again, the alcohol space on this, we're so, it's still super new, even though there's traveling vineyard, scout and cellar, those guys aren't in a retail location like One Hope is and, and does stuff too. So um, you won't see, I guess some of the boys say I've seen JCB and some stuff, but they're still built on a direct sales platform first where One Hope was the opposite. So, and now I'm off my soapbox. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. But Erin, this was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for sharing all of this and letting our minds be like, whoa, um, that was, that was awesome. We were at, um, we did the Harvest Party Leader Retreat and there was a speaker and I can't remember his name right now, but he said, whoa, and the W-O-O -O was window of opportunity. I think is what he called it. So live in the woe where there's the window of opportunity. So, you know, wow yourself and woe yourself and, um, you know, just see what we can do moving forward and baby steps. You know, you can't eat the whole elephant one day. You can drink the whole bottle of wine in one day. So let's not use that as a reference, but <laughs> uh, maybe not the Magnum or the one that comes after that. But um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, baby steps, baby steps. Everything will be, you know, will will all come together. And Erin has offered, you know, to do this again. So we will do this again. And also she's available if you want to, you know, send her a message, but also be respectful of her time. And I'm saying that you guys, there's a small group on here. So that's great. But for anybody who watches the replay too, like just know that, you know, we've got to be respectful of each other's times and energies and stuff that we put out there. So thank you so much for attending today. And we look forward to seeing all the fun things that you create. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Erin. Thanks, Tracy. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.